Have you ever wondered about the life journey of the largest feline in the world, the tiger? From the snowy Siberian plains to the dense jungles of India, these majestic creatures rule their realm with power and grace. Their impressive size and strength are awe-inspiring, with some tigers measuring over 9 feet in length and weighing in at an astonishing 660 pounds. But there's so much more to these charismatic felines than just their physical prowess. In this video we'll embark on an enlightening journey, tracing the life of a tiger from its first breath to its solitary adulthood. We'll witness the nurturing care of a tiger mother, the trials and tribulations of a young cub learning to hunt, and the defining moments that shape a tiger into the apex predator it's born to be. So join us as we delve into the fascinating world of these majestic creatures. Together, let's unravel the untold stories of the tiger's life. The life of a tiger begins in the most humble and vulnerable state, as a tiny blind cub. The gestation period of a tiger is a journey of around three and a half months. During this time the mother-to-be seeks out a safe and secluded den to prepare for the arrival of her cubs. When the time comes, she gives birth to a litter of typically three or four, each weighing in at just over a kilogram, a mere fraction of their mother's formidable size. Birth is a delicate process, and the newborn cubs are incredibly vulnerable. They are born blind and heavily reliant on their mother for everything warmth, food, and protection. Their world for the first few weeks is the dark, cozy confines of their den, where they are nurtured by their mother's tender care. The mother tiger, previously a solitary creature, transforms into a fiercely protective and nurturing parent. She feeds her cubs with her own milk, keeps them warm, and guards them against any potential threats. It's a full-time job, one that she does with unwavering dedication. After all, the survival of her cubs and the future of her lineage depends on it. While the cubs are nestled safely in their den, they begin to grow rapidly. Their eyes open after about two weeks, revealing the world around them for the first time. A few weeks later, they start to venture a little outside their den, under the watchful eyes of their mother. She begins to teach them the basics of survival, how to mark their territory, how to hide from danger, and most importantly, how to hunt. These lessons are not just for survival, they are the traditions of the wild, passed down from generation to generation. By the time they reach two months old, these cubs are ready to venture out of their den and start learning the ways of the wild. The journey from a tiny blind cub to a powerful majestic tiger is a testament to the miracle of nature and the resilience of life. As the tiger cubs grow, they begin to learn one of the most important skills for their survival hunting. Picture this. The lush, vibrant jungle, the crisp morning air. Now imagine a young tiger cub, eyes wide with curiosity and a hint of trepidation, stepping into this vast wilderness. This is the stage of adolescence, a pivotal moment in the life of a tiger. In the realm of the wild, hunting is an art, a dance between predator and prey. For a tiger, this dance is a matter of survival. The adolescent tiger does not learn to hunt overnight. It's a gradual process filled with trial and error with each failure a lesson etched into their instincts. But how does this learning process take place? enter the mother tiger, the first teacher in a cub's life. She is a seasoned huntress, her every move a testament to years of experience. She begins by demonstrating the art of the hunt to her cubs, her every action a lesson in patience, agility, and precision. She shows them how to stalk their prey, move silently through the underbrush and strike at the perfect moment. The cubs watch, they learn, and then they try. Their first attempts are often clumsy, their movements too loud, their strikes too slow, but with each failed attempt, they learn, they become faster, quieter, more precise. Under the watchful eyes of their mother, they practice this dance until they perfect it. Adolescence for a tiger is a time of learning and growth, a time where they sharpen their claws and their instincts. The skills they learn during this time are critical for their survival. A tiger that cannot hunt is a tiger that cannot survive. This stage is not just about survival though, it's about independence. With their hunting skills honed, these adolescent tigers are now ready to face the challenges of adulthood. They step into this new phase of life with confidence, equipped with the skills they need to thrive in the wild. With their hunting skills honed, these adolescent tigers are now ready to face the challenges of adulthood. Upon reaching adulthood, tigers lead a solitary life, marking and defending their territory. This is the way of the tiger, a creature of solitude and fierce independence. They roam the vast expanse of their territory, a realm they dominate and fiercely guard. While many animals thrive in groups, tigers are different. 
they are solitary creatures by nature, preferring their own company to that of others. Each tiger has a territory, a specific geographic area it claims as its own. These territories are marked by scent, scratches on trees and vocalizations. A tiger's territory can be as large as 300 square kilometers, depending on the availability of prey and mates. When it comes to mating, tigers break their solitary behavior momentarily. The male will seek out a female who is in her reproductive cycle and court her. This courtship may last for a few days during which they will mate multiple times. Afterward, the male tiger resumes his solitary behavior, leaving the female to raise the cubs on her own. These solitary habits extend even to their hunting practices. Tigers are solitary hunters relying on stealth and power rather than the group tactics used by other predators. They are patient and strategic, often stalking their prey for hours before launching a swift and deadly attack. And let's not forget their affinity for water. Unlike most members of the cat family, tigers are excellent swimmers. They have been known to swim across large rivers and lakes in search of prey or to escape threats. In the sweltering heat of their tropical habitats, tigers will often retreat to the water to cool down, showcasing an impressive display of their swimming prowess. Despite their solitary nature, tigers play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of their ecosystem. They control the population of other animals, ensuring a healthy balance in the food chain. Their presence alone can influence the behavior of other species, shaping the landscape in ways that are beneficial for a multitude of organisms. So, while they may prefer to live alone, their impact on the world around them is anything but solitary. The tiger, this magnificent creature, is unfortunately, an endangered species. This regal beast, the largest feline in the world, is facing threats that are sadly all too familiar in the natural world. One such challenge is habitat loss. As human populations expand, forests are cleared for agriculture, settlements, and infrastructure, leaving tigers with a shrinking home. This not only reduces their territory but also the availability of their prey, making survival increasingly difficult. Tigers' natural habitats stretch across Asia, from the snowy landscapes of Russia to the tropical forests of Indonesia. However, today, they occupy less than 7% of their original range. Poaching poses another significant threat to these striped wonders. Despite international laws prohibiting the trade of tiger parts, there exists a black market driven by demand for their bones, skin and other body parts, primarily for traditional medicine and luxury goods. This illegal hunting is pushing tigers to the brink of extinction. But it's not just about the tigers. These apex predators play a vital role in maintaining the health and diversity of the ecosystems they inhabit. By controlling the population of herbivores, tigers help to prevent overgrazing, ensuring the vegetation thrives. This in turn, helps to regulate the Earth's climate by enabling forests to absorb carbon dioxide. Without tigers, this delicate balance could be disrupted, with potential consequences for all life forms that share their habitat. So, what can be done? The answer lies in conservation. Efforts to protect and restore tiger habitats, crack down on poaching and raise awareness of the tiger's plight are all crucial. In the last decade, these initiatives have shown promising results with some tiger populations beginning to stabilize or even increase. Yet there is still much work to be done. The survival of tigers is not just about preserving an iconic species, it is about preserving the health and diversity of the entire ecosystem. For the sake of tigers and the countless other species that share their world, we must continue to fight for their survival. So, we've journeyed through the life of a tiger, from a tiny cub to a powerful adult. We've seen how these magnificent creatures, the largest felines in the world, grow from small helpless infants into formidable hunters, capable of swimming great distances and surviving in solitude. We've learned about the challenges they face in their youth, as they learn to hunt and fend for themselves. We've also seen the solitary nature of their adulthood, a stark contrast to the playful and communal nature of their early years. But most importantly, we've touched upon the critical issue of tiger conservation. These impressive animals, with some weighing as much as 300 kilograms and measuring more than 3 meters in length, are a vital part of our natural world. Yet, they are under threat, and it's our duty to protect them. As we appreciate the majesty and beauty of tigers, let us also remember our responsibility to protect and conserve them for future generations to admire.